Welcome back, everybody, to episode two of Warp's Launch Logs. We shipped new features so quickly that we didn't have time to get an entire film crew out, but don't worry, I'm still your host, Jess, and I'm going to be walking you through our AI, core terminal, and performance updates. Warp now has model context protocol support on Warp Preview, which is a special build of Warp that grants you early access to our features. This feature allows you to interact with MCP servers like Brave, GitHub, and Postgres from within Warp. Download Warp Preview for free today and join our Slack community to give our engineering team early feedback. You can find all the links in the description of this video. Now our recent AI improvements in Warp focus on getting you more personalized responses. I can add a URL with my agent request, and Warp will add the page contents as context. I like to use this when referencing a specific API for my project. And finally, Warp suggests rules at the end of my agent conversations, so it can remember things like which Python script to run based on the task I'm asking of it. This way, I don't need to manually type out rules anymore. Warp will just remember my preferences the more that I use it. You can also now continue past conversations with agents, meaning that the agent will remember all the context from the previous interaction. This makes it really easy to come back to a task that you might have started the day before or continue digging on a similar topic. You can also enable desktop notifications now to get notified when you need to approve an execution plan, run a deny listed command, or review a code change. And now Warp is quicker at searching large code bases for specific keywords like variables, functions, names or symbols. Now onto our core terminal improvements. Warp now has full support for Kitty Image Protocol, meaning that you can view images and videos directly within Warp. This is amazing because now I don't have to context switch into a different viewer to see data graphs, design files, or screenshots. I can also opt in to using ligatures in Warp, which in my opinion, makes your syntax look a lot more readable and clean. Warp settings will now sync, meaning that you can use Warp across all of your logged in devices. And last but not least, Warp is now two times faster, meaning that if you do something like open up the command palette and type something in, you'll feel a lot less latency. And that is it for launch log number two. Let us know in the comments below which features you're most excited for. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notified about our latest releases. I'll see you next time.